What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another GTA 5 rescue mod video and today we're playing as the London Fire Brigade. As last time around we were playing as the London Ambulance Service, it's just as fair to play as the Fire Brigade this time around. So I'm choosing a station, I'm probably going to have a look at what's to offer first. So, okay. Uh, I think this is alright, the station should do. Okay, so this is the engine 39, and then there's another engine as well. Uh, ladder 39. I'm gonna try the engine, not the ladder, because we're a fire engine. Okay. Uh, we should be good to go, just listening in for calls and waiting till something happens. My god, that BMW looks awful. Engine 39 respond to a commercial structure fire at Racy's Sinner Street. Okay, we have a commercial structure fire. I'm going to respond there right away. We are the first due. That means we're the first on scene. Engine 39 is responding. I did not see that fire hydrant. <laughs> My god. How much damage done, which is good. To let you know, this is the first time I've played this mod as the fire department. I've only played it as an ambulance before, so things should get interesting. This fire engine is really odd to drive as well, like the handling. It sort of turns on the spot. It's got a very wide turning radius, so it's a bit odd to drive, considering I've always been driving cars and vans before this. Video. Almost there. Okay, let's see what's going on. Got the police? What are they doing? Okay, and I suppose we're going to use it like we do with any other fire extinguisher on our police patrols. Hey, let's do this thing! Okay, we put the fire out. This is really good. Let's go check the area, see if um, anyone's harmed. Alright, doesn't seem to be any casualties. Alright, ma'am. Let's go check here. Just don't let him see the CCTV footage. Alright. Let's go back to the fire engine. Okay, first hand playing this, then um, let's have a look. Okay, uh, we're gonna update our status in a minute. So, just remove the equipment first. I said, let's just remove the equipment first. There we go, remove fire gear, that was the correct key. I don't know what's up with the stickers in the back of my firefighter. I replaced the um, firefighter skin for Franklin in my game because this this mod uses this Franklin model. It doesn't use the firefighter model, which is extremely frustrating. So I don't know how to get rid of those stickers, but I changed the skin itself. But anyway, let's go up to our status. That happened quite quickly. Let's go back on the drive. Okay, we have a um, a bush fire. That's a brush fire, bush fire. I don't know. I'm trying to read that. I can't read that font. It's just annoying. But yeah, okay, we've got a ranger on scene. We've got parks police on scene. There's some fire all the way up the sticks. I think. Yeah, it's down here. It's not up there, but 
this area here. I'm going to spawn there as soon as possible. We've got a ranger on scene, but we're going to be the first fire brigade like unit on scene, so let's go. So I'm still getting the hang of the script. It seems the paramedics are much more um, straightforward to play, but the, with the, as a firefighter you get more options and it's a more, I suppose you could say, interesting game mode, to be quite honest. As I was playing with a, as a paramedic, most of the time I would just get motor vehicle accidents and I'd have to be the first on the scene, and like, or the second on the scene and sort of try to perform CPR on people. But as a firefighter it's so much different, you get you know, you've got building fires, you've got this bushfire that we're trying to attend to, we've got like all sorts of stuff that happens with us. You probably end up getting a crash in the motorway and you need to smash the windows out and pull the driver or passengers out of the car as well. I mean, who knows? Take a right turn. Almost there. I've got to sort the handling out of this fire truck because it is fucking awful. I don't know what handling line I installed for this vehicle. I don't know whether it's the one that came with the mod or it's probably the default one, but it really doesn't suit. I mean, it's not toppling over the place, but it's just a bit annoying to drive. To be quite honest. Almost there. Right, here we go. We're on scene. You can see the Ranger right now. Mask on too. All right, mate. How's it going? Let's have a look. Oh, there it is. There's the fire. I can see it right now. I can hear the police as well. They're coming over here. Let's just get a fire here, and let's all get the equipment. Lost stupid menu. Uh, uh, extinguisher. All right, let's do this quickly before it spreads. out the fire. Putting it out. Is there any more fire nearby? Let's have a look. Oh I hear something. Other fire units on the scene. grabbing their equipment, packing up and going back to base. And we're going to do the same until something else happens. So let's put our equipment away. And update status. Just uh, remove the fire gear first. Engine 39 show me available. Engine 39 respond to a cardiac arrest address is Vita Street be advised person not breathing. Okay, we have a cardiac arrest, you just received calls and they're on the other side of the city. We need to respond there immediately. I do believe the paramedics might already be on scene, or they might not be, but respond there on the eye grain and we're probably gonna perform the same type of stuff we do as a paramedic, so let's go. Oh, my God. 
going to take some time to respond there, but all we can do is just drive as quick and safe as possible. I must say, I really like this mod so far, it's quite good, but I'm just frustrated how I try to change the uh, key in the settings. What the hell? Did, did you see that car then? It almost went into me. But yeah, as I said, I was trying to change the key, the M key, not to bring up the GTA 5 menu like this one, and it didn't want me to unbind it. It just said, we won't apply your changes until you find keys for it. I'm like, get lost, seriously. I mean, like, I just hate how in the game itself, like, they try to hard code a lot of things and deliberately make it difficult for the user to customize it themselves. That's a bit annoying. Like, at least they can let us disable some keys. Like, that wouldn't hurt. But, yeah, back to the game. We are on this motorway at the moment, this A road, and we are almost be getting there. We just try and drive there as quick as possible. Take the right turn. accelerated a bit more and then just stopped. And I want him to go ahead and he's just been an idiot really. Switch through here. In fact I'm gonna take a shortcut. I'm not gonna follow the GPS route, I'm gonna take the quick way to get there. Because we've got the lights and sirens, we don't need to worry about one-way roads, they can hear us and see us coming, so... Shouldn't be much of a problem. Just ahead of us now. We're here! So we, get the, we don't need to get any equipment, we just need to... Uh, perform basic CPR, I guess. Oh my god, I'm appalled. Show me on scene. I'm appalled there's no one else here, like, you know. What the hell? There's a person not breathing. I th you would have thought they'd call more units or something, but apparently not. Let's go give her treatment anyway. Okay. I would have thought the LAS would be here by now, but it must be stuck in traffic or something. Let's go perform this chest compression thing again. Engine 39 requesting EMS on scene. Now I can hear the ambulances. Are they, are they police? I'm not sure. I'm gonna call some backup because yeah, oh, I can't call call backup. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna call some EMS. Engine 39 requesting EMS on scene. Oh, this doesn't look good. I don't like the overlap on menus. I don't know what's going on there, to be honest, but yeah, strange. Hmm. Either way, all I could do is just keep on doing what I'm doing until the ambulance get here and then give it to them to deal with. And I can see the ambulance in distance right now. I'm gonna call another ambulance as well because I don't know how this could take a turn for. It might take a turn for the worse. And yeah, they're almost. Oh, there's already an ambulance. Okay, there's no point. There's already two ambulances on scene. Come on, guys, help me out. What are they doing? There's another ambulance too. Oh 
shit, she's dead. Casualty here. What the hell? What is he doing? Oh, I must have accidentally pressed E again, but yeah. I don't know what these ambulances are doing, they just sit there. <laughs> Come on, can you guys help us out or not? Let's try it one more time. I don't know what you guys are doing, but person's not breathing. Status, oh god, status dead. Uh, she's dead. That's it. I can't believe it, this is appalling. The ambulances are doing nothing at all. She probably died because of them. Like, what are you guys doing? Just sitting there with your sirens on, staring at me. I'm just gonna update my status. I'm, I'm, I'm furious now. Get out of the ambulance, you prick. What have you guys been doing? Oh, what the hell? And that was a bit of a shame, guys, but there wasn't really much we could do. She was probably dead on scene before we got there. A bit disappointed with the ambulances, though. They could have at least joined in and helped or something, but they just sat there with their sirens on. I guess that's a little bug that they'll probably end up fixing, but yeah, it's the first time round. Decent mod, I must say. It was quite fun. You responded to a building commercial fire, we responded to a brush fire, then we had that fatal incident of the person, that woman that wasn't breathing on the beach, so yeah, that was alright, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vid, and I'll be making more soon, so don't forget to rate, share, comment, subscribe, I shall see you next time, don't forget to stay tuned, and I'll see you soon, peace out.